My name is Cheryl Mosley and I'm the principal of the Dayton Griffith Secondary School. We are the school in the south in Zone 3. One of our main planks would, would be discipline. We enforce strict discipline among students. We also create an atmosphere where students are encouraged to bring any problems forward. If they cannot solve the problem on their own, there are always structures in place, and this we emphasize from the day they enter the school, that whatever situation there is, there is someone that they can speak to. We follow the basic curriculum issued by the Ministry of Education. At the school, it's really a, a mixture of practical subjects as well as trade academics. The technology program at the school, we start in first form with technical ed. And we move on to the third form where students are doing mechanical engineering drawings, where they're doing building technology construction, they're doing technical drawing. We take the CSEC examinations in these areas. So it's a combination of practical as well as theoretical. The industrial art section, this is one of our major performers in um, CXC CSEC. We have usually over 90% passes within this area. And students are quite enthusiastic to do the building construction, to do the um, mechanical engineering, which was formerly called metal work. At the school, students are exposed to a very large range of sporting events. Besides athletics, there's cricket, of course, and we have football, and we have both male and female footballers. We have badminton, volleyball, swimming, tennis. The school really offers an extremely wide range of activities for students in the sporting arena. We have some very interesting programs at the school. For instance, we have the first Air Scouts. We have the only Air Scout troop in Barbados is at the Dayton Griffith School. We also have something now called the Girls Club. Um, this is where the girls are encouraged to be positive, um, develop their self-esteem. Girls who are at risk to, for joining gangs or being involved in drugs, these girls are encouraged and join, and we have a group of teachers working with them. In order for any child to develop completely, there needs to be an all-rounded approach to a child's education. Education is not simply about academics. You could be the most brilliant academic, but if you have nothing else, then it goes nowhere. Here at the Dayton Griffith School, we, in, we emphasize the importance of developing the whole child. A child needs to be involved because this is the only way the child can develop its true personality. They learn to work in teams, they learn to get along with each other and develop socially emotionally, morally, and everything when you have a good combination of activities. We have our PTA meetings every second Saturday of the month. There is a farm level meeting for each year group where the teachers sit with the parents so a parent is free to visit every teacher who is teaching their child and hear firsthand of the progress. I would encourage any child or parent to choose the Dayton Griffith School. When you come to Dayton Griffith, we believe in order, structure, and we believe in mentoring students. We believe in the development of the total child. And here, a child has a positive experience. We cater not only to the academic needs of the child, but we are very cognizant of the strengths of every child, a caring, nurturing, atmosphere where a child is allowed to develop at a pace that is suited to the needs of the child. I believe the children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside.